Grand Rising, my friends. Welcome back. Good to see you. If you're new here, Goon Talk. Jump into the market. Crypto is in a in a channel, you know. We're gonna. It's been hitting um off of fifty thousand, and these round numbers really mean nothing. So you know, it's just where we're at right now. Forty seven thousand five hundred sixty six dollars and thirty six cents. Ethereum at three thousand five hundred forty one. Cardano. Um, it's down over day, but Bitcoin and Ethereum up for the day though. Cardano two dollars and forty one cents. Binance still doing all right. Four dollars four hundred twenty dollars and eighteen cents. XRP a dollar eight, Solana $149.86, Polka Dot $34.67, Doge at 23 cents, Uniswap $25.93. What was the oh yeah um it, it didn't do anything. I was gonna say that not besides the the Algorand, Cosmos, and Tezos that I was telling y'all a month ago about like Solana look like it's gonna make you know may do some things. It definitely did some things. Retracing a little bit, a little, little bit, but, oh, down almost uh, 21% in a week. But, you know, it's up several hundred percent, like two to three times in, in a, a month or so. So something to keep in mind, some of that money, people will be taking profits, but then it'll be ready for the next wave and the next leg up. That's how all these work. And we'll talk about that in a second. Stock market didn't do too well, even though the numbers from the American retail market were really, really good over the month of August. Um, People were spending money and and retail had a pretty good month. But the stock market, of course, went the opposite direction. NASDAQ, the the tech and growth, had an okay day at um, 0.13 percent. And that was pretty late in the day. The market was down at some point. It's over 200. The Dow Jones was down over 200. It just ended the day down 63 um, points at 0.18 percent of it. So, not too bad. Um, Amazon had a pretty good day in terms of being up, being positive. Home Depot almost up a complete percent. McDonald's up a, almost a percent. Salesforce, Tesla positive. Visa and Walmart. So Staples did did pretty well. The ETH continues to burn. We can, at one point, it was um, this number was five hundred and something. So, the the amount of Ethereum being burned, five hundred uh, Ethereum had been burned in the past hour. So, it continues to to, to astonish at the the pace that is going down. Which we will, well, we'll come to that. How, how what that means in a little bit, but. You know what the price of admission for this is. I don't be begging for subscribers and anybody watching who ain't probably already subscribed anyway, but at some point. Um if anybody here, you know I just joke with you, don't you don't feel any pressure to do anything. This is a hook that I'm coming up with. So just ride with me on it, which is uh get sucked in. Get get sucked in and let me uh, manipulate your <laughs> <laughs> uh, your guilt. No, I mean, just go for gratitude. Gratitude is a, is a great emotion. It's positive. And, you know, that's what it is. Is this how do I play for my gratitude? Because I know it's been plenty of times that we felt somebody did something for us and you, you feel you can't repay them, you know, in the way they, they, they did for you. Like, why would you do this for me? And, and I've always told people, like, even if it's okay, take the completely cynical view. You know, you 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 feel you can't trust me to do something altruistic for you. You know, because what I do in life, sometimes I come across people, you know, a complete stranger, and I'm being nice to them, and they, you know, get very suspicious. And I say, hey, okay, take the completely cynical view, right? Which is that I can care less about you. I don't want you coming after my things so why if you have your own things and you're okay with in your own area then that helps me you know i said even if i'm just being cynical besides the fact that maybe i just see another human being who i want to see do well and 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 i get my joy out of that alone blah 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 comment section people you like write them something for this share it with them tell them you did it let's get back to the to the stories. 
don't think we got you no know, crazy, crazy stuff today in terms of like, you know, to me, the more the technology, wild technology stuff. Like I did um, one s- several weeks back about uh, the lasers in the United States has this new weapon that's about to come out. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know the things people talk to me about. Nobody come to me but like, man, hey, what, 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 what do you think about that? <laughs> What kind of weapon we go, we about to demonstrate to the rest of the world to say, hey, don't start nothing. You know, don't, you know what I'm saying? Because remember, at some point, the vast majority of the world didn't know when a nuclear uh, technology, let alone a weapon, a bomb that could destroy a city, that had to be demonstrated. That's sad to say. The first test, yeah, it was secret. No one, I mean, you know, the Russians knew because they had, um, sorry, the Soviets. No, at that time? Yeah, that's what you mean. Soviets knew because... They had spies inside the Manhattan Project, but the um, the uh, the 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 rest of the world had no clue when a, when a Trinity test uh, was first um, displayed in um, not displayed, you know, first tested out Nevada. Oh. It, Wait, where's the Trinity Center? Arizona? New Mexico? I think it was in New Mexico. I think it was in New Mexico, but don't quote me on that. It's easy to look up. Anyway, yeah, I, I thought that was pretty crazy, but hey, whatever, you know. Walmart says crypto payments announcement is fake. Litecoin tumbles after spike. This was a couple of days back. Litecoin, as you can see, was trading here around... One close to 170, 180 went up to almost 240 in the time. You know, here you can look in between nine, you know, 30 something and uh, 10 oh four, 10 oh five ish. <laughs> this price dropped. Uh, well, you know, this would be the part to be in on right here boop, 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 boop. in the first cup, but uh, anyway, you know, or you know, you don't be buying it on this part, you want to. Have some and sell there. Buy here, sell here. Do not buy in this and sell in this. This is backwards. So if you buy here, don't sell this. Hold it. So don't spend any money you can't not, you know, not have to use for the next two to three years. So even if it's just 10 bucks, 10 bucks a month, hey, that's 10 bucks I could be all going panicking over if it goes down here for a while. Because it may, you know, Litecoin, it, it's high, I believe, is in the 400s. You know, double check that. But yeah, it's not nowhere near where we're at now with Litecoin. Now, you may feel that Litecoin doesn't have a future, and that's a different story. You know, I believe it's like a lot of the stuff is the OG cryptos. I think one day, you want to have a good laugh for people who know this. I think one day, Bitcoin, no, 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 not Bitcoin, BitConnect tokens are going to be worth money to collectors. Take that. Anyway, so it was a fake article that Walmart was going to be using Litecoin in its transition into the world of cryptocurrencies. And and Litecoin Foundation shared it from their official Twitter account, you know. And that's what you have when you have centralized services or anything that can be centralized and you know, people probably be looking at it like, oh, was it price manipulation? And, you know, this is, it's just a part of, I guess, of any um, monetary system where you have this hype that can push up something where people, everybody want to be in on the news, but then it turned out to be false. I mean, you know, you got to kind of listen for verification. That's why verification, that's why sometimes it's best to just, you, you can't get sucked into these get rich quick things. And that's a lot of scams get you. They always say, you know, Discord now for in, in, in NFTs, you got to, hey, am I going with my privacy? In every group, I cut off every mention and I cut off every people can contact me through the server. No, I don't want nothing because everything is always, hey, um, don't don't tell nobody, but you've been selected to do this sneaky thing. And, and it's lies. They scamming people. Do not send anyone your money that you didn't figure out, find, and contact directly yourself initially. If they contact you, it is a lie. If you see something that be like, uh, 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 anything that sounds too good to be true is too good to be true, period. You know, slow and steady win the race. So anyway, this Walmart and Litecoin, womp womp. But 
At the end of the day, the rise in institutional demand for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and crypto products as Grayscale steps up his game. Cryptocurrency market has hooked the interest of many investors, and it could see another wave of large-scale adoption making way. According to this report, nearly 40% of weekly infos, the digital asset products were allocated. Uh, Grayscale, we, we've talked about it plenty of times. If Grayscale is a an investment organization does it say exactly what they are here and they they basically just buy a bunch of crypto and then sell shares on uh, the uh, stock exchange in the united states right i don't know what they do for other countries as well probably but in the united states so you can buy grayscale it's called gbtc on the stock exchange now it depends if you're you know is is it's weird how it's regulated, and so not every account has access to buying it. But if your account has access to buying it, um, it's like you're supposed to be like a thousand shares of Grayscale equals one Bitcoin. And so that way you can see where it's at. And right now, it's trading less than that, meaning a thousand shares is less than one Bitcoin. But in the past, it used to be more than that, where a thousand shares, you had to pay more than one Bitcoin to get a thousand shares. So they they want to switch to an ETF because it's just a trust right now that Grayscale Bitcoin is a trust. A lot of just mumble jumble made up things to just kind of control people. Oh, well, you can trade this way if you're a trust or you can trade this way if you're an exchange traded fund. You know what? I, I've said it many times. But anyway, Grayscale has nearly a 50 billion dollars under management in uh, either cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrencies related companies, securities, you know, stock in companies that deal with either mining or like MicroStrategy who has bought a lot, so much Bitcoin on his treasury that, you know, it, it, you can trade for Bitcoin under, uh, under uh, MicroStrategy just because of the amount they carry on their treasury. So now just mentioning that they uh, re recently got three more and this is about a week or two ago. I read, I, you know, I don't even, I well, one of them we just talked about, but I wasn't even going to mention these. But yeah, they, so they got a, now we're going to be reporting to the SEC for their trust. They already had these trusts, but now they're going to report to the SEC for these and, you know, the, all the accountability that entails. They've already been doing it for uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and they have a, I think for their, Digital large cap fund, which is the one where they the companies that you know deal um, in the cryptocurrency market, but now they're going to get the SEC S, uh, Security Exchange Commission reporting for Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum Classic and Litecoin. So, you're going to have six entities total that report to the SEC. And, you know, show all the, you know, transparency, audit in, everything is on the up and up so that investors can invest in full faith. Knowing that nothing is predictable and, you know, they won't steal your money there. They won't do any, you know, beyond what they, you know, they shouldn't be stealing your money there, quote unquote. I'm making quote unquote signs. But uh, if anything, you know, anything happens to the market, that's that's not on on them. They, too, will be devastated in that way so it's um incumbent on them to do a great job so that the market has a lot of faith in it so anyway grayscale is just getting a lot of more a lot more interest because they you know are adding more sec sec reporting in their in their structure and the amount of money they manage so that's good news for bitcoin Good news for all the uh, cryptocurrencies. Then Switzerland to get new digital stock exchange, clearing the way for cryptocurrency, sorry, crypto trading and NFTs. So we all grew up hearing about the Swiss banks and how they did business there where you needed to. So Swiss, you know, are known for their banking. So they really are going um, big time with this. On Friday, the, the Switzerland stock exchange S. IX1 regulatory approval to launch a digital stock exchange called SIX6 Digital Exchange SDX. Or maybe it's just Exchange 6. I don't know if it's SIX or 6. So I'll capitalize. So I said XIX. Which could be a step towards the creation. Oh, I didn't even. Boop, boop. 
from the beginning, I was saying to myself I was going to do this first, and I didn't. All disclosures. Not your advisor. Mumble words. Go get stuff wrong. Let's roll. And by not your advisor, I mean on any matter, on anything, you, you didn't do anything because I said it. Even if you, I would say, even if you are psychotic, you are now hearing me saying, you are not hearing me tell you, you shimmered to do anything. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So anyway, they said they've been working on six has been uh, I'm going to call them six now has been working on a digital exchange since 2018. But they wanted Swiss approval so it could create a global network of digital asset trading. And I like they said, look, they're going to they want to operate a stock exchange and depository for blockchain based securities. And the plan was to run. They will offer stocks and bonds in the forms of digital tokens. So the tokenization of the security market uh, and equities, the equity market. Investors will be able to trade, settle, and store digital tokens on one platform via regulated institutions. SDX could now offer the highest Swiss standard of oversight and regulation, according to his website. It will run on distributed ledger technology, meaning transactions will be recorded digitally across multiple sites, but it, it won't be decentralized. It'll be centralized distributed ledger technology. Well, you know, that's they're trying to take in and and corrupt the the beauty of true decentralized blockchain distributed technology, meaning there's not one person in charge decentralized It's distributed ledgers across everybody thing at the same time. So everybody can see what happens. No one can fake something here and put it in. The, well, you can fake something here and put it there, but everybody else got a copy of the real thing. And I'm like, yours is fake. Get that out of here. So you will never be able to take the copy of the whole ledger, change something and put it back to everybody because, you know, you have to have more than 51 percent. And that's what a 51 percent attack is. You have to control more than half of it to trick the system. And so if you can't control more than half of it, no matter what you have, you're out of luck. Uh, but the centralized system, you can get in there and hack the system and change things and, and control it across the entire ledger. Because centralized is one person controls all, distribute, uh, all the information that's distributed across versus decentralized where it goes every, you know, in a wave to everyone that has to be everyone agrees. Like, oh, yeah, we all agree. We all agree. We all agree. We all agree. And then consensus is reached versus one person say, this is what it is. Next. Boop, boop. So. That's what they'll be doing. Expecting to begin trading in bonds. Likely this year funds could hit the digital exchange. Unlikely adding that it was unlikely that shares in already publicly traded companies would hit the digital exchange in the immediate future. But not in the near or at some point in the future. Also hinted at other assets. This is where they are just truly stealing everything. Such as paintings or vintage cars could also be exchanged exchanged on SDX in the form of tokens. So the tokenization of physical property and such. Basically NFTs. So the Swiss are getting into it and the Swiss know about banking. So the Swiss said we are not being left behind. Speaking of not saying we would be left behind. India. In lawmaker says India crypto laws will be distinct and unique. The chairman of India's Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance, Jayant Sanha, discussed India's cryptocurrency legal guidelines Wednesday at an event held by the Blockchain and Crypto Asset Council, the BAC of the Internet and Mobile Association of India. I am on me. It's a palindrome. I like that. The legislator declared that India's cryptocurrency laws will be distinct and unique, adding we have to balance stability and growth, but we recognize how important this whole area of crypto is. And then the next thing, according to somebody, our solution will have to be distinct and unique. What does that mean? And so I go through and there no further elaboration of any inkling of what that mean to be distinct and unique because of our unique circumstances, which is we want to hold all the money. Just like everybody else want to hold all the money, we want to hold all the money. So until we can figure that out, we're going to be sitting here, uh, give, you know, giving y'all the runaround. Then they'll realize that's an impossibility. 
And everybody can talk about El Salvador adopted Bitcoin as legal money. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian parliament approved a measure enabling the existence of digital currencies in its second reading. In its second reading, bring the country one step closer to legalizing cryptocurrencies in the country. Also, Cuba, I believe Cuba has passed some laws where they are looking to legalize cryptocurrency in their country, I think. We're going to talk about that in a day or so. University professor makes breakthrough achievement in qu quantum computing. So this is really fascinating. Um, you know, we talk a little bit about quantum computing on this channel. And one thing we haven't probably talked about is that how they get these qubits into entrainment, where they you uh, one action infected on one is detected by the other one, no matter how far apart they are in the universe. Let your mind ponder that notion over and over again because that's what I do every time I hear it. It's like <laughs> so there must be communication faster than light. There has to be communication faster than light then what do you mean? If that if that's what it is then maybe we'll do it one day of metaphysics and go I know my, my boy uh my boy I love that a lot. <laughs> a couple of them. Um they to go into to some of those things how they play out, but you know, look, I try to much like that. We try to bring the quantum world into our, our uh, classical physics world the way we look at it as. I'd be like, how do we bring the metaphysics into our the physical third dimension? Because you know, and we do a bit of that here. We you know our vibr we get our vibrations up to vibrate and you know see the synchronicity amongst everything. So at the end of the day, I think consciousness. Consciousness is the answer of how you travel faster than the speed of light. But we will get into that at some point. Here, we're going to talk about what they accomplished in the laboratory. And this assistant professor, uh, Dr. Sutherland, I'm sure he's probably. Yeah, probably got his PhD. Dr. Sutherland um, has found that using microwaves instead of lasers. So Sutherland's team set the world record for the most accurate entangling gate ever demonstrated without lasers. They use microwaves. They, they don't sell you that too much later. But microwaves are much cheaper to use than lasers. So he said they use able to uh, price of an integrated circuit that performs laser free gate is negligible compared to the tens of thousands of dollars it costs for a laser that does the same thing. So making it more secure, making it easier, making it cheaper, finding a better way. This is how all innovation works is, is you got You get these ideas and see that in theory or, or when I say the proof of concept, and then you say, well, you know, that's not practical for a long time. How do we work this into something that makes more sense? And it's just kind of that, that, that constant iteration over and over again, um, is going to really, like I said, right now, and, then the work we can do, a lot of it can be digital now inside these computer net, neural networks where they can take a lot of these ideas and then run them a million times, 10 million, a billion times with little incremental improvements along the way to see and then show you, you know, turn back to you in a, in a, in a uh, much shorter amount of time and say, hey, this would probably be better design characteristics to go with. And that's what... It's, it all feeds into each other. So it is going to be an awesome future. I'm trying to see if it talks anything more. Yeah, PhD from Purdue, you know, Big Ten. Got to gotta respect that. And I was going to mention it yesterday, or maybe I even did, but Definitely, if you didn't watch the launch last night, it was amazing to know that right now, Inspiration4 is above us. SpaceX did launch successfully and put into orbit the first civilian astronaut, completely civilian astronaut crew. Um, that I, I Look, you know, it's amazing because it just gives us hope that one day this will be become even to the point of even routine for some of us, you know. So, uh, blast off, uh, another billionaire through the help of uh, called, another billionaire went to space on Wednesday called Inspiration4. The mission, and for those who don't know, I'm sorry, if anybody who don't even know what I'm talking about, because I always assume, but um, 
Yeah. So yesterday, uh, a a rocket was launched out of Cape Canaveral at the Kennedy Space Center, La- launch pad thirty nine A, on a Falcon Nine rocket. Uh, a Dragon capsule put four individuals, these four, into orbit for the next three days. So they'll circle our planet dozens and dozens of times over the next three days and then land back in the Gulf of Mexico. I believe in the Gulf. I'm out at a double check. We'll probably read that near the end. But so anyway, we talked. I believe we even talked about it, how Bezos went up, you know, to about 62 miles and. Oh, no, we were talking about the balloon yesterday. And the, yeah, I was prepping up for this. And the, um, but Branson went up, you know, to like 50 some, 55 miles. And then Bezos went up to, went up to 55 and shoot, like 62. And now um, they, they, these are going into orbit. <laughs> They're going past where even the International Space Station is and going to just circle the planet. And my friends, you know, funny, you know, I'll give a bit of an aside. My friends were saying, like, hey, hey, you know, saying to me, like, hey, we didn't even talk about that. Did you, you know, it happened? Um, and do you think, you know, you know, one of my boys is just saying, like, do you think they considered any way to kind of, you know, say this to the people who are flat earthers? Hey, take a look. Or do, was anybody on there a flat earther? Did, did that come up at all? And then another friend came over there, like, hearing bits of that, thinking, like, oh, yeah, hey, it's a good thing they went to go teach them that there was no flat earth. And, and I was like, look, <laughs> the last thing they were thinking about in any of this was the earth flat around. Everybody who was involved with this, that, that's not even, they don't even waste an iota of their brain power on that question. <laughs> They are. They have other bigger things to, to to deal with. They already know that. Hence, taking rockets into orbit to circle. They understand kind of how orbital mechanics work already. Everybody along that. Now, if any, you know, I don't know how to, how old the youngest person there, and if they had just no clue of what it is, but you would imagine. And then after all the training, so I was like, no, nah, that that's not even a consideration at all during this. And we have to be that way. You can't let your brain. Ponder. I mean, you can wonder about some here, something like that, but when you realize that it has no merit and it's just fanciful, now if you just like to play with fantasy and sometimes, hey, we all should do that. It's good release of our attention and stuff. But in terms of serious matters, you have to be able to dismiss outlandish, uh, 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 foolish information. It's a good thing to be able to separate the wheat from the chaff, as they say. But I'm not going to go too crazy now, but it was just funny because I was like, yeah, no, they're not thinking about that at all. So Inspiration is comprised of a crew capsule that is up top, a reusable Falcon 9 rocket. So I probably should have showed the video a little bit of it if I could have been like fast forwarding through it. But it went up and then and it was at nighttime. So you can really see that what I'm about to explain a little bit, but you can see, well, the rocket and it looked pretty going up and you can see it going all the way up in orbit and the two stages separate first stage. And the first stage from SpaceX comes back down and lands on a ship in the ocean and they you know they showed that so the landing went off without a hitch and the uh second stage continues on and then pushes off the crew capsule from the second stage so it was really three pieces so first stage show them like my arm here like a first stage and then a second stage and then the capsules on top of that and so the first stage turns around comes back to earth lands on a ship second stage I believe comes and burns up in the atmosphere out in the ocean, but that's is planned and everything is out with that. And then lastly, the the capsule takes off into um in into orbit or into orbit, and now it's going to orbit around the planet and land back in a couple of days. Um, the mission will have a twenty four hour yet, it, but when it, once in space, it will orbit the Earth every ninety minutes. Oh, okay. So you can calculate how many times it's going to orbit the Earth at 17,000 miles an hour or 22 times the speed of sound. The target altitude is 360 miles higher than the International Space Station. So every 90 minutes, they're orbiting the planet. Raising money for St. Jude's uh, Children's Research Hospital for Pediatric Cancer. That's awesome. 
But he pledged 100 million to the institute. The mission has raised a total of 200 million. So, wow. Um, I, I, who has the money to pay for it? I mean, he had the money to pay for it because he had to pay SpaceX for it. You know, he was rated to fly military jets. He was a, I think, former military pilot, and he um, was rated to fly military jets. And so, you know, kind of worked out. He was a guy who made a bunch of money. You know, was a pilot and got to live his dream. He's up there now, commander of the first civilian <laughs> space flight. I, I love it, man. I, I I I pray that everything go well. They come back. I know they're gonna. Everything's gonna go well, and they'll come back and be fine. This is just going to start the um the the process of what this is going to be in the future for us so that's awesome man and um they're going to re be recovered by splashdown does it say where not necessarily because the last one of the first times we uh, spacex sent uh bob and doug and they named the ship after bob and doug the pilots who went on spacex first mission to nasa first astronauts who floated uh who flew in the Crew Dragon demo to the International Space Station. Um, when they landed back in the Gulf, they didn't kind of rope off the area well, and a bunch of people in their boats was out there kind of like, yeah, what up, y'all? <laughs> and that was a problem, as you can imagine. So now nah, they, you know, they don't play that no more. But I'm going to leave y'all with that. But know that I love you. You love you. God loves us, and that's all that matters.